Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Monday, December 5th, 2022. As you can see by the red color of this cover, futures are red this morning. However, I have a funny suspicion we are going to go from red to green. Um, I think that the market sentiment is going to be bullish, at least for the start of this week. According to play of the week, there were only four out of 30 plays that were short, which is very abnormal. Um, you know, sometimes I think we should bet against the trend of retail. Um, but in this case, I think that um, we are going to see some positivity this week. So anyways, let's get started. Please remember nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. Um, oil is up this morning just an FYI, so that could be a play of safety. Please smash that like button as it helps with the algorithms and I'd greatly appreciate it, thank you. All right guys, so AVCT is my play of the week this week and I think we are going to see um, some significant movement to the upside as there are warrants at $1.80 that can now be exercised. However, we are only trading at $1.20. So I do feel that they are going to pump it this week. Um, just be cautious because they will run it and I'm not sure for how long. Obviously, the higher it goes, the more money they make. All right, SXTC. This is actually trending and this is a stock that has been on my radar for quite some time now. Um, it is a great play when China stocks are going, which they certainly are this morning, as you'll see from a lot of the items on my watch list. Um, and guys, SXTC is definitely trending either number one or number two on stock twits last time I checked. Um, so I would expect to see a significant move. I know it's broken through $1 in pre-market. I'm not sure where it stands right now. COSM. Guys, there is a lot of um, attention coming back into this play and talks of it breaking through that $1 at this week. I think any bullish news is going to send this. As you can see, it is up 28.64% today um, in pre-market, and I expect to see a nice little rally continue. C-O-M-S. All right, guys, um, this is actually flat at the moment. Last time I checked, but I do expect this to run with COSM. So keep COMS on your radar as well. TME, 10 cent. Guys, I've been telling you about this play since it was like probably below $6, at least in the sixes. Um, and currently we sit at $7.70. I'm telling you with you know, China stocks moving, this should be on everybody's watch list. It has been making significant moves to the upside and I expect it to continue. NEO, same thing guys. This is just ripping in pre-market. It has high momentum and I expect this to continue moving to the upside. XPEV, Again, that China play. Guys, Baba, DD, Billy, uh, Duo, um, God, there's so many of them, I can't even think. FXI though, guys, if you wanna play the large cap China stocks, that is the um, ETF, that is them, and that would basically cover all the large, large caps. Um, that would be a great play right now as well, I think. SHPH, all right guys, it started gaining momentum last week. It was up 66.07%. I know it went over $3 in pre-market. I'm not sure where it stands right now, but it's getting a lot of momentum, and I think you should keep it on your radar. Fubo. All right. This is another name that has been beat down very hard. If you start to see stocks running, this is a great opportunity for a short squeeze. Check out my video. Guys, it takes a lot to get a short squeeze. So there are no guarantees, but there are a lot of shorts in this play and I see a lot of opportunity potential here. GoCo. This has been in a very strong uptrend. As you can see, it's up 31.28% in the past week. I expect this to continue. It did get its pullback and now it's starting to make moves to the upside again. As you can see, you saw that head and shoulders form. You saw it dip below here um, and now it's moving back to the upside. So guys, stocks do not go straight up. They have to have pullbacks and that's exactly what this did. And now you can see it's trending back to the upside. Oops. Sorry, I got lost. Uh, figs, F-I-G-S. This is another one, guys, that I have been screaming since $6 range. It is at 853. 
please, please, please put some attention onto this stock. It has been beat down very hard. It is really, really cheap right now, in my opinion. In my opinion, this should easily be double digits. Um, and I'm thinking relatively, it should be trading over $20 per share. Um, there is a lot of institutional ownership in this play. So I expect it to continue with a strong uptrend. Please check out the video that I did on figs. It only got like, God, one of my worst videos ever, like only like 153 views or something. And guys, I'm telling you, there's an opportunity here. And you know, just last week, if you had watched that video, you would be up huge. So please check it out before you miss a huge opportunity. Kaba. Another great one, guys. I expect this is in a strong, strong uptrend. I expect it to continue when it breaks through five and especially if it can break through seven. When it breaks through seven, expect it to go to double digits fairly quickly, guys, because it has a nice gap to fill. Tilray and all of the pot stocks, guys, are literally, literally on fire right now. Keep you know, these plays on your radar because I think you're going to see strong moves to the upside in Tilray. I think that there's a catalyst coming this week. Um, somebody did call out one of these, at least one of these, um, and HYFM was another one mentioned by TSDR in play of the week last night. And, you know, I bought Tilray options last week and look at 22.37 and the stock, my options are almost doubled. MMAT, um, guys, MMAT and MMTLP, I think is going to have one heck of a week this week. Expect a lot of volatility. I think there's money to be made here. So keep them both on your radar. PSTV. This is a very little known name. Guys, I highly recommend you check it out. I think it's found its bottom and I think you're going to see big moves based on what I'm seeing in the technical analysis this weekend um, in PSTV. So keep it on your radar. And that lawsuit, sorry, going back to PSTV for a minute, that lawsuit that came out um, regarding Citadel and all of those by, I think it's NWBO is the ticker, um, that is a cancer stock. And I think that you're going to start to see some of these other cancer, um, you know, that's a cancer vaccine. This is actually a cancer medication uh, cure. Um, or not cure, but you know, a medication to help with cancer. And I think you're going to see that these plays maybe have a nice week this week based on that lawsuit, like, you know, a sympathy type play. Carvana, CVNA. All right, guys, Carvana, upstart, affirm. If you start to see the market moving, start looking at these plays. They are all very heavily shorted. They all have opportunities to make very quick moves to the upside if shorts have to start to cover. Um, you know, especially if Powell announces, you know, that rate cut, I mean, you know, a, a shift down to 50 basis points instead of 75 coming up next week, I believe it is. Um, you know, I expect to see that we're going to see movements leading up to that in these three plays. So, Keep them on your radar. And the charts technically look very, very good. QTT. All right, guys, this is another Chinese stock that has been beat down. Keep it on your radar because I think you're going to see a similar movement to SXTC in this. And it has a very, very low float. CTLT, Catalan. Guys, this has been in a strong uptrend. It is up 28.87% in the past week. It's consolidated and I think it's ready for its next big push. Jumia, J-M-I-A. Guys, this is another one that's been beat down very hard. Um, this is like the Amazon of Africa. It's been moving. It's up 0 0.5 cents in pre-market, but it is up significantly in the past week. So keep it on your radar. It is still heavily, heavily beat down. At one time, that stock was trading in the $40 range, and I remember trading it then. Novavax, N-V-A-X. I think if you look at this chart for the past week, it has made a double bottom. I am looking for this to make moves to the upside now. Um, but guys, I'm not married to a direction. The stock has been beat down so, so bad. Um, for some reason, it does not get the love that the rest of these uh, vaccines have gotten from Wall Street. But keep it on your watch. Adder. Nice, nice week. It's up 10.38%. We are in an uptrend and um, they did increase guidance last week. So, or the low end of guidance, I should say. So keep it on your radar because I think you're going to see some momentum coming back into that play. 
Meta, M-E-T-A. Meta, guys, is hopping. It is up significantly um, in the past week. It is down in pre-market, but I expect that the market is going to turn green in the morning. Um, so keep it on your radar because if it does, it will also, if it doesn't, then hey, it could be a good short opportunity. Don't marry any direction. PBR. Guys, with oil being up and this being beat down very, very hard, I think you're going to see PBR be um, one of the strong movers in the oil field if that continues throughout the week. So keep PBR on your radar, Oxy, um, Chevron, you know, there's several good plays. Hal. All right, top gainers today in pre-market are SXTC, CLIR, SHPH, IOVA, and COSM. Top losers are tops. They did an offering, guys, and this company, it just keeps doing offerings and destroying retail. Awful. Uh, VERO, CLVS, AKAN, A-K-A-N, and MYO. All right, your most active tickers. Oh, wow, that SBEV is finally off this list. So maybe it makes its move now. Let's keep that on our radar. AGCB, SIRI, CSX, PINS, and KMI. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a fabulous day in the market and make lots of